Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More Italy speaking. Today we are going to go through the explanation of how the new Move module works. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start by adding a simple generator. So let's choose the FM operator. Nice and simple. Now let's give it a bit of sustain and let's create a little bit of a pattern like so. Okay, perfect. Let's click play. Okay, nice and simple. Choose simple notes. I'm going to decrease also the master uh, volume. Okay, perfect. Now, if I was to uh, modulate the feedback, um, I could, for example, add a mini LFO, right? So I just uh, move this to the right and just go to modulator and I could add a mini LFO, okay? And then I could click on the feedback, connect it to the LFO. Then, for example, configure it a little bit, like having a triangle, no bipolar in this case, and then adjust the frequency. And you will see, give a little bit of influence on the feedback here with this dial. And then if I click play, So you will have uh, the LFO changing the feedback like so up and down, right? Okay, that is the classical way of using it, uh, using an, an LFO or to modulate the feedback in this case using an LFO. So there is another way as well. Let's double click on the LFO. Let's click remove. And now let's add um, the modulator. Let's scroll up to the top and let's click on morph. Now, on Morph, you have this dial, which says Amount, and then you have a button for Assignment, which you can assign to multiple um, parameters. So, let's click on Assign, and then let's click on Feedback, and hold on that, it becomes red, and then let's move that, like that, for example, on the top. And what will happen is, remove, click on Assign again, you will see a dot here, a purple dot, and that which signal where the value should go. Right, so now if I was to move up and down, yeah, the amount you will see when it's zero it is up to the top, and when it is a maximum 100% or one, it is at the level that I configure it there. Okay, so that um, pretty straightforward to actually use that. Uh, so let's play and um, let's change the amount dial. <laughs> Okay, nice, really nice. Now, you could still assign, for example, an LFO to the amount dial. So let's uh, click on the amount, and let's connect it to the LFO, and let's click play. I had to make some adjustment, of course. I changed the LFO influence as well, and, and I moved also the position, the static position for the amount dial. And um, it's, the Morph module is quite nice because you can see it operating directly on the parameter, which is uh, really, really nice. And, you know, click on Assign again, and let's go to D2 and move this up to there, for example. Okay, there you go. And now you see the detuning moving as well alongside the feedback which is controlled by this amount dial, which then is controlled by the this mini LFO. Okay. And of course, you can continue like that and, um, you know, use the morph module to change other parameters or to modulate other parameters. So it's a really nice new uh, module or plugin, which is a great addition. Uh, to drum bow. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. See you at the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.